everyone, this is Cheapy, and happy holiday miss thingamabob. Anyway, this is the Christmas episode, and I am here bringing you a special game. And I don't mean special in a good way. See, as I have said before, especially in Super Tux Cart, clones are not a bad thing if they get what the game is doing. If they get that special something that the game that it is based off of was trying to do, well, that is awesome. Super Tux Cart did that because it had that frantic, quick, trigger-happy feel to it. This game, this game, this game, this game does not. Uh, I'm sorry if I seem a little emotional with this, but, uh, yeah. You know what happened in my last review with the lights going out? It turns out Bix was running his server and putting it through a bunch of tests. And, well, this a building is a little older, so the, so we couldn't handle it. And now, well, I lost my deposit, so I'm going to be moving soon, which is all well and dandy, but I'd rather it had been with, you know, all my money back. But, you know, with that nice little bit of karma, uh, his server and his laptop are busted. Now, I am trying to get him something to replace that, because that was a big deal for him. I mean, he needs that to speak, but for him to have it be that bad without once even thinking about us, well, me and then the other people in the building, it's a little karmic. But anyway, I'm off task, and I'm here to bring you... Is it cold in here? I'm sorry. I really don't want to do this game. This game is a clone, like I said, but it's so boring. Ugh. Everything that a bad clone does, this game does. And it's sad because the other clone, Super Tux Cart, is kind of sort of based off of this one. Super Tux. Alright, when we start we see this very simple, very, you know, very ordinary, very straightforward menu screen, which doesn't really surprise me at all but you know that's the point it's supposed to be just a normal clone and here I'm starting a new game and as you can see this is about as fast-paced as this gets this slow drivelly piece of garbage in intro and you know what I'm just going to speed it up speed it up speed it up speed it up and we get to the first the first actual map and oh look you're hitting boxes with question marks and you're squishing things that and oh, <laughs> that's a snowball. And look, there's a snowball enemy. Well, let's not accuse this game of being inconsistent because everything is ice and ice and snowballs and ice because that's what it is. And oh, hey, look, it's an ice. It's an ice cube and you can kick it. Gee, I wonder what that's supposed to be like. And you're running, you're running. Hey, look at this. And oh, another snowball. Oh, God, that sound. Oh, I'm sorry, that sounds some, out of like a fan dub version of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. That does not need to exist. That is boring and dull and just, there's nothing to it. There's no reason for that to exist at all. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Do you see that? See, that right there, that floating thing, that looks like... That looks almost like a cyborg John Lennon head. I kid you not, look at it. It has the glasses, it has the mop top, and it's steel like it's a cyborg. But it's only the head. With what I'm just saying right now, that idea, the cyborg head of John Lennon, combined with the mock turtle Ringo Starr, Captain Jean-Luc McCartney, and, and Canada Harrison. All of these together, this is... Just right here, me rambling. This is more entertaining than playing this stupid game. Look, I really hate harping on a game that's free. And especially one that's open source, because not only is it free, the people who contributed to this game, they went out of their way to try to help this, but nothing can help it. It is a bland, it is an obnoxious, and it is a heartless clone. It's nothing. 
it is nothing more than saying, hey, this is this is Super Mario Brothers, but we have these things instead. When has that ever made a good game? This game, this... Oh, I'm just really disappointed. I know you can do better open source community. Please, show it. You showed it in Battle for Westnoth. You showed it in Gang Garrison 2. Show it more. Show how you are the better whole situation. Show them how you are better at making games. How you are better at avoiding a lot of these stupid things that mainstream expensive BS clones do. Just don't try to do what they did and tack something else new onto it. The snowball with the excellent. That bland, boring excellent. No. It needs charm. It needs that same feel. Super Tux Cart had that. This game doesn't. This is cheapy. And I'm going to tell you to stay away from this game.